Shalom Israel. Shalom. Back with another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakum. Brother Nakum. And we're with the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. That's right. Before we go any further, we want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Next up, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone from teaching us the truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the sincere Auckland star at the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your abilities. And we're going to get into a quick lesson, real quick. Um, first question we're going to pull is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. So the Most High, who the word only calls God, who's a so-called black man, whose real name is Yahweh, said, I formed the light. The Most High formed the light. So when you see that sun in the sky, you know that bright light? That was the Most High who formed that. When you see, when it, when it's dark outside, you know, you see the, 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 um, the, um, the light from the um, moon. That glow, that was the Most High who formed that. When you see the own stars at night, the light from that glow, that was the Most High who formed that. The Most High formed the light, not nobody else but Him. And create darkness. And the Most High create darkness. So when you walk outside, you know, and it's pitch black and you can't see anything, you can't walk, you can't see where you walking, you know. That was the Most High who did that. He formed the darkness. He formed the light. He created darkness. I made peace and create evil. The, right. The Most High makes peace. So if peace is going to come, it's going to come by the way you have by Shimei Asha, not nobody else. Peace ain't coming by a you so-called black Latino Native Americans walking up and down the streets talking about we shall overcome no and justice, no, no justice, no peace. Peace ain't coming on finish. It's like it, kind of finish. Peace ain't coming through you so-called black Latino Native Americans saying once again, no justice, no peace, or we shall overcome. You know, if, just, if peace was going to come in with a Ben King. Um, you know what the scripture said? Didn't the scripture say is that there's no peace coming to the wicked man? That's right. That's like my Esau ain't two thirds. That's right. You know what I mean? Ain't no, there ain't no, ain't no peace coming to you, man. Cause the time of Jacob is coming, and you, you two thirds gonna get caught up. That's right. Peace ain't gonna come until we get into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. That's when peace is gonna come. That's right. So read that from the top again. It's the book of Isaiah chapter forty-five verse seven. I form the light mm -hmm. and create darkness. That's right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I make peace and create evil. Right. And the most I said, and I create evil. The most I create evil. So when you see those tornadoes That's coming right. to destroy your city up, your town up, whatever the case might be, mm -hmm. that was the most I who brought that tornado. Mm -hmm. And when you see those those mudslides, that was the most I who brought that mudslide. When you see these tsunamis, you know, these earthquakes in diverse places, that was the most I who did all that. All these on um, all this. All these, evil, all these evil times with the most highs. Yeah. Right, the atrocities. God, and if I can add a point, when you uh, when you look up on the, the speaking of tornadoes, mm -hmm. you know, when you look at the F5 tornado, which is the strongest tornado, 500 mile power, power wind, they actually call that the finger of God. God. You know what I mean? Like the finger slash hammer of God. That's what they call the F5 tornado, which is the strongest tornado, man. Like a damn, damn near, excuse my French, suck up anything. Right. You know, they call right. it the finger of the God. So, uh, we're going to get Amos 3 and 6. Oh, finish that off? Oh. Read it from the top and then finish it off? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 7. Okay. I form the light mm -hmm. and create darkness. Mm -hmm. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. So, it's the Most High who do all these things. It's nobody else but the Most High. The Most High stands alone. Ready for that precept? That's right. All right. It's the book of uh, Amos, chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? You know, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? This specific trumpet right here is talking about the war trumpets, man. Because when you watch the ancient movies, whenever war trumpets sound alarm, I mean, sound off, and everybody hears it, they go crazy, man. So this is actually a rhetorical question saying if, if, if shall the temple be blown in the city and the people have not be afraid because they are going to be afraid. That's rhetorical because they know uh, bad times is coming. All right. You, you know, know what I mean? mean? Cut you off, Akin. And if yeah. you don't know the word what rhetorical means, it means um, something you already know the answer to. Yeah, rhetorical. You should, yeah. You should already know the answer to that. That's right, man. Shall that be evil? Shall that be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Yeah, so there's so any bad, that word of evil, there's bad times. So anything that's bad, that's happened, like the, like the Florida shooting. You know what I mean? Did not the Lord do that? That's right. Did not the Lord do that? Did not the Lord cause them all them kids to get shut up in their school? Mm -hmm. That's a bad time. Hurricanes and stuff like that, that's a bad time. That's right. You know what I mean? Getting stuck up, getting, uh, getting shot, you know what I mean? 
getting jumped, getting beat up and all this stuff. That's a bad time, man. That's right. You know what I mean? So, but did not the Lord do that? That's, right. That's also a rhetorical question, man. That's right. Are we going to prove in the scriptures that the Lord did that, man? Yeah, and, and, and going back to Isaiah 45 and 7, the most I said, I, I make peace and create evil. That's so right. So that's answering your question right there. That, um, the most I created evil. So if he created evil, of course he created, um, what is it? Um, shall it be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Right. So the, if the most high makes, um, creates evil, of course he um, did evil in the that's city. That's right. He did that. You know, For Isaiah 45 and 7 confirms that. So we're going to go to Book of Deuteronomy 32 and 39 to further prove it. Mm -hmm. This is the Book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am he. Right. It says, see now that I, I am he. And that's talking about the Heavenly Father. Once again, who the word in the cause, God, the so-called black man whose name is Yahweh. Read on. Come. And if I could say something else, see, that's what his name means, man. He is. That's right. You know what I mean? So he said, I, I uh, see now that I, even I am he. You know what I mean? Because he is Yahweh. He is. That's right. And there is no God with me. Right. And there is no power with him. Right. So, Awa ain't with him. Nope. Buddha ain't with him. Nope. Santa Maria ain't with him. Nope. The Hindu God of Sheba ain't with him. Nope. Um, who else I'm missing? Big G and Little G. Big G and Little G. Right. Because we had a man that came out to the kingdom like two weeks ago talking about, oh, that's Big G and Little G. I don't know who the hell that is. I don't know who that is either. But the, the point is, it ain't nobody with the Most High. The Most High stands alone. He is by himself. You know, besides the sun. Besides course. the sun. Besides the sun. Con. Uh, I kill. Most I said, I kill. So, when little man man or, or badass Tyreek get shot down in the hood, Ray Ray, when they get shot down in the hood, it was the Most High who killed Ray Ray or man man or Tyree or whatever the case may be. The Most High killed them because he, he put the spirit on somebody else. They killed him. That's, That's right. why, going according to Proverbs on um, 2024, man's going to the Lord. He put the spirit on whoever to go kill man, man, or Tyree, or, or Ray, Ray, or whatever. His lifetime, his life, I just see his life clock has reached zero. That's right. And Yahweh by Shemel Shah, Yahweh got rid of him. His time has ran out. Because he was being rebellious, he didn't repent and turn back and try to seek Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Therefore, Yahweh by Shemel Shah erased him from the place of the earth. That's right. You know what I mean? And I make a lie. Right. And the most I make a lie. So if, you, if you're if on your deathbed, you know, and these doctors doing all the surgery on you to keep you alive, it's not the doctors that's keeping you alive. It's the most high that's keeping you alive. Because once again, going back to Proverbs 20 and 24, um, man's going to the Lord. Oh, Lord. The most high put the spirit on those doctors to keep you alive. I wound. The most high said, I wound. So if you break your arm, your leg, your back, your head, whatever the case may be, it's the most high who wounds you. And I heal. And if you heal from that wound, it's the Most High who wanted you to heal from that wound. Because he didn't have to heal you. He could have left you wounded. That's right. He could have left you crippled. If it pleased him, he would have left you that day. That's right. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. Right. And once you're in the Most High hands and he got control of you, there's mm -hmm. nobody can deliver you out of his hands. Because going to, um, proper, um, go, so like going to Hebrews 10 and 1, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. So once you're in the hands of um, the Most High... It ain't nothing you can do. Yeah, once he grabs you, he's only he that can get release his grips off of you. Nobody That's right. else. That's right. I'll can't nobody come in and grab his wrist and try to, you know what I'm saying, try to get, get you out of that hole, man. Mm -hmm. Only he can let go of the grips, man. Mm -hmm. Only he only. So we're going to get the book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity, which means, you know, you're prosperous. You know what I mean? You got everything going for yourself. You know what I mean? You 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 pretty uh how should I say you're pretty well uh set. yeah you're pretty well set you're pretty comfortable in the society and adversity which is um uh, which is like um how should I say uh um adversity look at the definition real yeah quick. con con you got your phone uh oh, damn. uh yeah yeah but adversity man basically means it's like you going through stressful times man you know what I mean you stressed out mm -hmm. uh being terrible you know what I mean uh bad luck. That's what it's called, like bad luck, ill times, you know what I mean, distressed, you know. So if you're in adversity, man, which is, uh, dang on, which is uh, basically, uh, uh, look it up for me, y'all. I, I forgot already, Satan messed with my head, man. Kind. Keep going, going. I'm going to see. Yeah, kind, kind. Yeah, um, yeah, if you're prosperous in society, if you're comfortable in society, you got a, you got a name for yourself, you know what I mean, or if you're in, uh, if you're in a, uh, a stressful time. You in a jam, so to speak. You in a jam. You know what I mean? All um, adversity. 
life and death. So whether you're living or whether you die, you know what I mean? Uh, poverty and riches, whether you're at a real, you really are a bum on the street, bum that's sleeping on the bench at night, trying to get warm because it's cold, or whether you're rich, sipping on some lemonade near to a, near a fireplace with a uh, with a bear with a bear carpet, you know what I mean, sipping on some lemonade or whatever you're drinking, come from the Lord. See, Yahabai Shimon Shah brings all that, man. You know, Yahabai Shimon Shah brings all that. And Salak in Israel, we want to get this definition of this word because we want to we want to we want to get more understanding of it, man. But that's what we do here in GMS. That's right. That's what we do here. So, Salak, here, bear with us for one moment. But all of that comes from the Lord, man. Anything that you do that's righteousness or wicked comes from the Lord. You know? And we looked it up before before we uh, we did the video, but it, it, it came out. It went out of my head. Come on. It, it's, it's Satan's. Bear with us one moment, Israel. Matter of fact, we put it right here. Let's see. Bear with us for one moment. But yeah, all that comes from the Lord, man. Life, death, whether you're wealthy, whether you're poor, you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever, man. All that comes from Yahweh by Shimei Shah. You know what I mean? And nobody else. Then the scripture says that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. You know what I mean? So all that comes from Yahweh by Shimei Shah. So we, we waiting on the word for the definition of adversity because we want to get deep into this, the word here. You know what I mean? It's taking forever. You know what I mean? Because it's Satan, of course. Huh. He don't want this. You don't want. He don't want the, the word the, to come out. That fire to come out. As I already said, like the fire to come out. You know what I mean? So he's just trying to heal up the, the the edification here. Let's see if there's in the. Uh, 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 oh, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Bear with us for one moment. Yeah. If it don't come up, then we'll just we we'll just end the lesson. You know what I mean? Here it is. Hold on. That it. That is it. But it's the same definition. You got the definition. Yeah, it's all good. But uh, but for to make a long story short, adversity basically means in a jam, in a special stressful time, in a time of distress. You know what I mean? All that comes from the Lord, man. All that comes from me. How about you, y'all? Shot, man. You know. To be, you already said miserable, right? Yeah, being invisible. Yeah, that's what it means. Things. Miserable. Miserable. Basically. You know what I mean? Just being miserable, just being depressed. All that stuff. All that comes from the Lord, man. All the emotions, all the prosperity, all the wickedness, all that comes of uh, come of the Lord, man. You know. You already finished reading everything. Come. So you want to close out? Let me close out. You close it out. All right. With that, Lord willing, this edifying was video. This video was edifying for you. I give out there that's watching. You know. Y'all, Lord, when it's, you know, hey, we tried our best. You know, we tried to look up the definition of the word, but of course, Satan is in the midst. Okay. So, with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And next up, the Ba'ans is the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone, who still go out to the highways and byways and preach the truth according to the Bible. In peace, blessing, and safety, and mercy and to your Akims out there. Pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteous, and in sincerity. That's right. With that, Shalom, Shalom. Akim. Stay strong. Kwame Ashirala.